when you look at NRM the party that you people formed <coughs> for movement, there is a lot that has been happening. You once complained about intrigue, but it is only escalating within the very party. There are many fault lines so far that are appearing within the party. What do you say? You know, when two people work together and they don't develop differences, then one of them is a fool. There, there are fault lines and uh, mistakes being made by the party. It's normal. It's not the contradiction that is the problem. It's how you resol resolve the contradiction. So what should people expect in 2026? And uh, when do you really think you're going to change, the, the, the ballot paper will come with a different face? What's your problem? People want to know. Okay, you compete. Join People NRM. Want to know. Excuse me. Join NRM, compete. So deal your hunger. And if you defeat General Seven, we shall put you on the ballot. <laughs> are you a member of NRM? No. If you are not, then why are you complaining? No, but that's what you want us to remove our pillar. We bring a weakling and you defeat us. <laughs> that's how we treat him. He's first among equals. Some people so say that for as long as he's he still got got something to offer, we shall have him until he says no. In fact, some of the people look at it. Some of the critics look at it. Uh, the support that you are rendering to President Museveni that actually it's pretense that you people feel like in case you go against, then you're kicked out of office. Kicked out of office? What do you mean? Like you will not be posted did we have as a minister. Did you will not. Did we have promoted? Sudir, did we have offices in Ruero? When we were well in the struggling, did we have offices? But you agreed that did we believe, after some time, excuse me, you even that, leadership. even that, is a fallacy. How could we agree when we didn't know who to make it? So you say when we were in the bush, we agreed this. What is, none of us was aware, sure, that would make it. Would see the rest, the, the end of the, of the struggle. But you had a plan. None of us was sure. You can't have a plan when you can't actualize it. None of us were sure they would survive the war. So this business to say, oh, we agree on this, we agree, that's nonsense. That's absolute nonsense. So and, and then that also fixates us as if since we left the bush, we stopped thinking. Like there is time for repentance in religion. There is time for second thoughts in politics. We didn't stop thinking when we left the world. We've been thinking, we've been revising uh, certain things. Well, there are things we used to hold the and we've discovered, we've hold, we used to hold dear and discovered that they had issues, problems, and we've guided the revolution uh, in accordance with the situation. Uh, what would you, what, what, do you have any critic about your very government that you have served for all these years? Yes, we've made mistakes. I'm not saying what that. are some of those mistakes? I've uh, made mistakes, like inflating parliament, like creating uh, many districts. Like uh, there are certain laws we repealed which were, which, which we thought was an improvement and we've discovered they were not. No? Those are three. We, we've had to, we've been repealing uh, laws, we've been, uh, Changing course in, in terms of uh, uh, priorities, you know, like when we decided that we should invest in uh, power, roads, and uh, education. Of course, everything else was uh, is, is of necessity, but what are our priorities within the necessities? Uh, so generally, there are like three or four mistakes you feel in the last thirty-six years you I'm have made as a party. To, I'm not going to recite the written here. Of the mistakes uh, we made, and sometimes some of the things I think are mistakes, other people argue are correct. So this is a question of debate. Do you fear President Museveni? Fear General Tafiri? Does he eat people? Is he a cannibal? Is Museveni a cannibal? Why should I fear him? He's, he's not going to eat me. But you know how he cracks his whip. Cracks? I've been working with him for the last fifty years. I've been working with him for the last 50 years and I've not seen him crack anybody. If, uh, if President Yorim Seven today announced that he's going to, maybe he's not going to come in 2026, what would you say about it? What would I say about it? Hmm. 
I will entertain the party and let's get somebody else. Why should I say anything about it? Would you be is happy? It, Would you be a, comfortable with it? Or you still it, feel Is believed? it a sacrilege? Is it a bombshell? Is it a miracle? No. It's obvious that when the President Seven will say, I'm not running. But as a party, are you prepared? Just in case you said that uh, nature can, can take someone you, out. As you a said, party, are you prepared? You said you are not a member of the NRM. Yes. How do you know we are not prepared? If you are not no, a I'm member. just asking if you're prepared. Well, just in case anything happens, well, well, you have the next leader. We, we know the NRM has the next leader. Uh, and that can only be done through a democratic process. process. Okay. Thank you so much for the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Afandi. Mm. Who is Zotafire? If uh, anybody out there wanted to know who General Kain Zotafire is, who, who are you? Some gentleman who was born 70 years ago in a place called Mitoma, who's come around and participated in the revolution struggle and has been sacrificing uh, in, in many departments of government, trying to render service to the people of Uganda. So that's, that's what Zotafire is. So what what do you do when during your free time? How do you spend your free time? Why are you worried about my free time? I just people want to know. Like no, people don't. They, I don't owe them that. Hmm. What that, what I do during my free time? That's my free. That's why it's called free time. <laughs> that's not their time. <laughs> What's your favorite music? Favorite music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite music is thinking. <laughs> thinking. Okay. Thank you so much for the time. Yeah. yeah.